All right, welcome back, guys. We are in Nimbus right now. This is a best of five series. I think Nam should run to the bathroom real quick, but we are in game number four. It is currently 2-1 in the favor of our Protoss player. I uh, had a pretty, I'd say, easily decisive game in that last match, but we'll see if he can uh, finish up here or if Alive turns us around. So without further ado, spawning here in the top right corner of the map for the Dragon Invitational number four, the Grand Finals. One game away from $1,200. It's the Blue Protoss Sun. Um, in the bottom left of Nimbus, we've got our red turn player, as he said, he's he's down a game now. Let's see if he can bring it back. It is alive. I don't know, man. It's it's gonna take something special. His yeah. No, you. Know, I take this back. It's just gonna take him controlling something special because we're watching a lot of his early harass really taper out, not get a lot done. It looks like awkward timings, but he does some real damage with it. And the thing for alive is like he trades decently. But when you're up against a player like San, and when you're up against a race like Protoss, trading decently isn't going to cut it. You have to win engagements, and you have to decisively take leads. Yeah, but I'm so happy right now, because he's going CZ first. Like, I feel like, like, you're talking about the engagements and stuff, yeah, uh, you know, needs to change something up. But he's been going early aggression, like, every game, right? And pretty much every game, he's fallen behind after you know the early aggression and then in game one he was able to make it work still but pretty much every game it felt like in the in the start of the game he's been behind and this game he's just gonna open up very much uh, economic and not commit to any sort of early aggression and just rely on his mid game instead which have been looking so strong if he gets there in a comfortable fashion as we saw in game one so right that's actually like ironically this. a little bit what i find um I, I mean, I, you just finished praising it, and I agree. It's, uh, I would love to see the different angle of the game here, but a lot of people don't play greedy on Nimbus because, like Alter Zim, there's a lot of. And this is again going back to Protoss. I'm not trying to seem racist here, but a lot of Protoss players who would go all in because they expect their opponent to go for the early CC. They expect their opponent to go three hatch before pool. And we've seen multiple players die and get punished for it. So, I mean, for Live to do it, he's going to get away with it 100%. There's nothing yeah. that's going to stop him at this point, but it's always like if you're if you're a betting man, you don't bet on a safe early CC. Not against Sun and not against Protoss. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's definitely not <laughs> uh, a safe opener, but I, I really like it because Sun has been doing the same opener every single game. And Alive has been playing, even though his timings have differed, he's been in you know doing early aggression every game, so... When, when it comes down to one last game, like he can't lose one more game right now, I, I like that he's risking it a little bit here to try and get himself into a nice position. So, yeah, I like the decision. And he did make a late Reaper. It's going to pump into a pro. That's kind of fortunate for him. It was not move commanded, so he does kill the probe instantly. Well, we are um, actually going to see... SV scout as well. Yeah, SV dead for the probe. Look. We are actually going to see something distinctly different. We have an, uh, a Stargate command assigned this game. Most likely going to start to be an Oracle. Could be Phoenix. We've seen Phoenix Colossus topple even some yeah. of the best Terran players, but most of them still open with an Oracle one way or the other. Mm hmm. Yeah. I, I don't see San as the Phoenix player, but I wouldn't be surprised, as you said, if he goes into Phoenix after oh, one Oracle. Because, I mean, he has to start yet anyway, so. Did he see the Stargate at least? No, the Reaper died for nothing in the Mineral Lines. Yeah. Oh. Is he going to prepare for it? Still, hmm. I mean, okay. He didn't get any scouting. As a Terran player, you do prepare for this blindly, like no matter yeah, what, whether, stone. yeah, whether it's putting a mineral, a widow mine in the mineral line, whether it's actually putting six marines out. I mean, he's got the production, he's got the numbers, he should be fine. He's even got turrets coming down. This Oracle, it's going to be annoying because it's so fast, but that's really about yeah. it. I feel. Yeah, the turret is finishing, so nice there. He's got the marines at his production right now, slash the main, so yeah, he's fine. So good scan there. And oh, San is going for that build. Who did he? He did that versus center, was it? Uh, I feel like I'm getting this wrong. I swear I saw San do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he did it versus center in the first game. He went. Off of one gate, he makes one oracle, and then he makes a third, and then he takes more gases. So this is a... He gets one marine, uh, gets one SCB. But this is a very greedy build by San. But the star part is so far off, far alive, that 
Sun is probably gonna get away with it. It's kind of scary to consider too. Yeah. Especially as a Zerg player yourself, you know how important it is not to let a protest player get ahead in bases. I mean, mm -hmm. there's some stuff you can describe as balance whining guys, but there's just straight up stats about the game. And one of the things is protest units are more expensive because they're stronger. If you've got three bases to sustain those stronger, more expensive units, and you can overwhelm in just sheer numbers of your opponent, you'll probably beat them to a pulp. So for Alive, it's going to take a lot of picking apart at this point. He's not going to be able to take some sort of head-on engagement anytime, I'd say, within the next 20 minutes even. Kind of a bold... Mm -hmm. Bold statement, oh. I know, but, I mean, it's, it's kind of the truth of the matter. Yeah, we'll see. Sun is going for a lot of gateways, which is kind of, I guess, what you need to do to kind of hold on to that third base. Oh my god, that's a lot of gateways, Drifkin. Okay, it's only eight. I guess still kind of a lot. So well, it's on three bases, so the weird thing is it's not that, so. that crazy. Yeah, I mean, Ally wants to defend that third at all costs to the initial two Mediavac move out that is inevitable. And if he, if he can, you know, cost effectively clear up this army that Ally is moving out with now, then he's going to be in a fantastic position, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. What is slacking uh, is obviously Splash, so... But he's going to have a lot of gateway units. Yeah, it's weird to see a heavy investment in force fields like this. Normally you see about, you know, three or four centuries, or sorry, centuries, just call them force fields because that's all they're used for. Uh, but, you know, you normally see about two or three for Guardian Shields against the Terran player. Guardian Shield helps so much in reducing that marine damage, but... I mean, uh, what's really nice too is he's going to be able to force field them in, perhaps with an overcharge, kill a good chunk of the army. This initial push out of Alive looks a lot scarier than it really is. This is not that big of a deal. Oh, and the revelation just has been... did so much for him here. And oh, Okay, loses a couple of sentries, but okay, ooh, actually a lot of sentries went down. So. A lot of sentries went down, but he trades out his entire army pretty much for it, right? I mean, the medevacs got away, which is good, I guess, but he's so many more resources in the hole as a consequence. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's no quick third for live either. He's gonna pump out units out of five racks, so maybe okay, storms on the way. What am I in? This did some go. magic well, before. F cross your fingers. Sun is not watching. What? Oh, he's watching. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so he was he was focused firing you guys. That's why it took so long yeah. to arm. If you just keep clicking it, but yeah. Oh, and mission from the right call. So yeah, that was that was not bad for San, man. San is looking pretty good. He only needs one more win take the finals home. Chrono losing Storm right now. And I, I don't think Ally was expecting that. I like this though. Taking some risks now. Going for a triple drop to the natural. There's some potential of damage. Photon overcharge goes down instantly though. Oh, focus fires the medivac with the Nexus as well on top of that feedback. So nice control by San. Oh, he's actually gonna pull the probes off this. It's getting a little bit scary. He's got a lot of marauders here. If he just picked off that oh. pylon, there'd be no warp. But oh, that medivac going down is gonna sting. Uh, you know, we talked about San playing the same thing, but he's not. I mean, these storms are going to be yeah, really frustrating not. to deal with. And this is the same map as well, where he used this versus center. So he's this is really working for him because he's up so much in economy and he's shut down all of these medivacs. There's only three medivacs. So not terrible, but San just has a lot of army right now. A lot of his army is in the natural, like five cellars there, but ooh, decent storm. I like the cannons coming down here too to help uh, help deter drops, but I mean this yeah. is what's so frustrating about Storm. It can do some very serious damage if you're not ready for it. And I mean Alive wasn't ready for it the first time. He'll be doing a little bit better this time. What am I going to get a pretty decent shot off? Mm -hmm. I like that he's uh, you know making those wood mines now that he's identified that there's going to be charged out Storm uh, that he's facing and not early Colossus. The Robo goes down just now, so very late. So if he can keep trading with this stim bio and uh, what am I? that's his way back into the game so he's controlling pretty well now being active with those four marauders and yeah but you gotta, into the main. you gotta keep in mind here too a lot like sans very intentionally not for like uh, storming he's got the energy for it he just doesn't want yeah. to waste it on like three units and that is a bigger clump we're gonna see those storms come down and yeah, yeah, smack that army right in the face Oh my god, so many Widowmines there, I've like five Widowmines, like Sun cannot engage into this, and oh my god, that Arkan might fall. I think he knows it too, low. his charge is so close to finishing, once charge completes, you know, you'll connect the Marauders, you'll get that swipe, and the Widowmines will actually go off in friendly fire, oh. so, can and will work sometimes, not working so hot right now, he's got a couple more Storms locked and loaded, this fight's hardly over just yet, but Alive constantly disengaging off this, constantly yeah. trying to make sure he's not uh, over-dedicating to this, he knows the Storms can be very deadly. The Widowmines. But yeah, I mean, Alive is 
compensating for the fact that he's way behind on economy by just trading uh, better for now at least. He was trading kind of poorly with his drops before, but now he's doing really well. Oh my god, stems forward, Widowmines are ready to fire. There's a small counterattack going off, but San may have needed those units at home. I think he's dead, man. He's got nothing. No splash, one Arkham. Yeah. Oh, Colossus. But, well, the Overcharge is going to run out here soon, too. There's nothing else. No more juice here in the Mothership Core. I mean, he, I guess maybe you could try holding it the na the main, the natural, whatever. What if I actually goes off on the Warp Prison that's going to go across the map? And this is looking Whoa. like we might get an ace match. You know, I thought this was going to be a one-sided series. Once again, Rifkin's wrong, but I couldn't be happier about being wrong. Oh, my God. That's so many Marauders, though. If Sun can hold, man, he's not out of it. That was a massive storm. Those Marauders took so much damage. Oh, but, but the probes! <laughs> <laughs> and that nexus is so low already. Yeah, it's too much here. So many medivacs. Eight medivacs. Kind of out of energy, but oh my god, kiting like crazy right now with the marauders. Yeah. What am I going to go off underneath this too? Back at home as well. Let's not forget those zealots did get cleaned up. He lost one barracks for his troubles. It was not the end of the world. Didn't lose SCVs either. Yeah. He's still Good kiting. I can't believe he's still kiting at this point. What am I? Yeah, coming off cooldown. I mean, make no mistake, guys, San is, like, going to start bleeding out. This is just one small amount of forces that's been living forever. Alive is more behind us at home. Yeah, and folks, fire the Immortal down. Only one Immortal left. Corn boosting out on the Observer right now. It doesn't have one. Nexus falls, so... Well, Alive just keeps surprising us, man. It's, I can't believe he's able to win this game. He's looking terrible for him economy-wise, but just he's trading so well with his Widowmine. San is going to hold on for now. Yeah, he still doesn't but, have Colossus, that's the problem though, right? Like, you got the yeah, Robos no you pointed out, but there's no uh, no no Robo Bay down. He's actually going for DTs. Not a terrible choice considering all of what's been going on in this game. Mm -hmm. But with the pilots being cleaned out on the other side of the map, no Warp Prism to speak of, he might not even get to utilize the DTs. Yeah, and here comes the reinforcements for, for Alive as well. Even killing the Robo, that's a big deal. There's not going to be no Colossus in this game. And, well, you know, I thought I thought with the early sun, uh, Storm Sun had this locked down. Like, I thought this was going to be an easy-peasy win, but Widowmine's too good. This this heavy Marauder Force, by the way, it doesn't have a lot of damage, but nothing can connect to it. They're just kiting for days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that Widowmine play out of Alive is very... His control has well been fantastic. Yeah, uh, he's got off reinforcements here as well. Both players just kind of stuck in very awkward spots. Storm's almost ready to go, but this boost towards the main, there's nothing here to stop it but one single <laughs> cannon. You kidding me? Uh, Put the oh, that went on Wow. GG. GG. Wow. I cannot believe Ali. He was down like 30 supply with two bays versus three bays. And then he ended up being like ahead 20 supply. All I care about is we actually get game number five out of these two. They're so yeah, really good. Uh, the thing too is so for those who didn't hear the closing bets on the part two, 14,363 bet on San, 15,464 bet on Alive. So. Regardless of who wins, as long as your guy is the one that won, you're going to come out of this a pretty rich part two owner. Mm -hmm.